It's been a week since it became obvious the Raiders would end up trading Devontae Adams. They have four weeks, Devin, from today to get it done. They want to get it done sooner than that. They reportedly want to do it in the next 48 hours, but they also want a second-round pick. At some point, you got to decide what your priority is. You want to get it done fast, you're going to have to come off that second-round pick, unless you're paying like all of his salary except the league minimum, or you're going to send like a four with him. They could get a face-saving two out of this if they – give up something like a fourth-round draft pick as part of the package? For in, in these situations, how often do teams accept any call? Like the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots call the Raiders. Are, there, are they like, nah, we're not going to do Devontae Adams and send them to a team – you know, where maybe Drake May is about to play and they call and they try to say, hey, we're going to put our rookie in there, come here. Or is the Raiders like, hey, Devontae, do you want to go? No, okay, and just shut it down. I think in this case, because I believe a deal was brokered between Devontae Adams and Antonio Pierce before the season where Adams says, I'm giving you a clean slate, and if we get to a point where I decide I want to move on, will you move me? Sure, I will. We'll accommodate you. I think they – they. I get the feeling they're working with him the same way that the 49ers were working with Brandon Ayuk because they could have traded him to the Patriots and he reportedly didn't want to go. Now, who knows how much of that's 100% accurate, but the, the 49ers were leaking a lot of stuff at the time. I think there's a handful of teams that Adams would play for. And there's also, you know, a team in the division that the Raiders won't trade him to. Shefty pointed that out last night. It's not happening with the Chiefs. I don't even know if the Chiefs want him. There's no way the Raiders are trading him to Kansas City and handing him a piece that could could end up contributing to three Super Bowl wins in a row. The fans would never let Mark Davis hear the end of it. So the Jets and the Saints are the two that get mentioned. I don't know how real the Saints are. I think the Saints are being used as a potential destination to get the Jets to do something stupid. Because the Jets have done that before with Le'Veon Bell in 2019. They got, they got fooled into thinking the Ravens were a major player, and they weren't, and they gave up too much. I think they're trying to get the Jets to think there's another player out there so the Jets give up more than they should. But it feels like – I still don't know what the Jets are going to do with him when you got Alan Lazard and uh, Garrett Wilson and, and Mike Williams, but I think that it feels like it's going to be the Jets. I don't, I, unless, like, the Bills wake up and say, we should do this, which I think they should, I feel like it's going to be the Jets. Devontae Adams, you see that helmet behind me. All I'm saying, New England Patriots, they're going to start, you know, they're going to get something going. Come to New England. They'll make it nice and easy for you to pay you that contract, everything you need. Don't worry about going to the Jets and the, and the AFC East rival. Go to New England. But it's just a part-year rental. That's the problem. His contract yeah. next year, you're going to tear it. Unless he comes through the door with a new contract, you're going to tear it up after this year. So I don't That's think he's, an, he's going to be around long enough to be part of the solution in New England because – I don't know, even if he plays five more years, I feel like it's going to take five more years to solve <laughs> Not five. Not five. I'll go three. Three-year plan in New England. Get, get Drake on the field. They're teetering on a mutiny. Get Drake on the field. I think Drake may – I think he might be – after watching the game yesterday, I think Drake may possibly might be coming on the field sooner than later for the Patriots. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.